Hello and welcome to Less Code Hub. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Power Automate interview questions for middle engineers. First, how can I use Power Automate to integrate with an API? You can use the HTTP action in Power Automate to make API calls and retrieve or send data. Additionally, you can use the parse JSON action to parse the response from the API and use the data in subsequent actions. Second, how can I set up a flow to trigger based on a specific value in a SharePoint list? You can use the when an item is created or modified trigger in Power Automate in combination with the condition action to check for the specific value in the SharePoint list. Third, how can I use Power Automate to connect to a SQL database and perform actions? You can use the SQL Server connector in Power Automate to connect to a SQL database and perform actions such as querying, inserting, and updating data. Fourth, how can I use Power Automate to create a dynamic approval workflow? You can use the approval action in Power Automate to create an approval workflow. Additionally, you can use variables and conditions to make the approval process dynamic, such as routing approval requests to different individuals based on certain criteria. Fifth, how can I use Power Automate to handle errors and exceptions in a flow? You can use the try-catch action in Power Automate to handle errors and exceptions in a flow. This action allows you to specify a specific action to take in the event of an error, such as sending an email notification or retrying the action. Sixth, how can I use Power Automate to create a flow that runs on a schedule and also can be manually triggered? You can use the recurrence trigger in Power Automate to schedule a flow to run at specific intervals. Additionally, you can add a manual trigger such as button to allow the flow to be launched manually. Seventh, how can I use Power Automate to connect to a SharePoint library and perform actions on the files? You can use the SharePoint connector in Power Automate to connect to a SharePoint library and perform actions such as creating, reading, updating, and deleting files. You can use the SharePoint connector in Power Automate to connect to a SharePoint library and perform actions such as creating, reading, updating, and deleting files. Eighth. How can I use Power Automate to trigger a flow when a new record is added to a Dynamics 365 entity? You can use the Dynamics 365 connector in Power Automate and set the trigger to when a record is created to trigger a flow when a new record is added to the specified Dynamics 365 entity. Ninth, how can I use Power Automate to create a flow that can handle multiple conditions? You can use the condition action in Power Automate to handle multiple conditions in a flow. This action allows you to specify different actions to take based on the outcome of the conditions. You can also use the switch case action to handle multiple conditions in a flow. Tenth, how can I use Power Automate to create a flow that can handle a large number of inputs from external sources? You can use the apply to each action in Power Automate to handle a large number of inputs in a flow. This action allows you to apply an action to each item in a list of inputs. Eleventh, how can I use Power Automate to create a flow that can update data in multiple systems? You can use the apply to each action in Power Automate to update data in multiple systems. This action allows you to apply the same action to multiple systems, such as updating a record in multiple databases or sending a notification to multiple recipients. Additionally, you can use the parallel branches action to perform actions on different systems simultaneously. Twelfth, how can I use Power Automate to create a flow that can extract data from an email and use it in an action? Answer. You can use the parse email action in Power Automate to extract data from an email, such as the sender, subject, and body. You can then use the extracted data in subsequent actions, such as updating a record in a database or sending a reply email. Thirteenth, how can I use Power Automate to create a flow that can handle different types of attachments in an email? 
you can use the condition action in Power Automate to check the type of attachment in an email and perform different actions based on the attachment type. For example, if the attachment is a PDF, you could use the OneDrive for Business Connector to upload the attachment to a specific folder, or if the attachment is a photo you could use the SharePoint connector to create a new item in a list. 14th. How can I use Power Automate to create a flow that can parse data from an HTML or XML document? You can use the parse HTML or parse XML action in Power Automate to parse data from an HTML or XML document. You can then use the extracted data in subsequent actions, such as updating a record in a database or sending an email notification. 15th. How can I use Power Automate to create a flow that can send a message to a specific channel in a team? You can use the Microsoft Teams connector in Power Automate to send a message to a specific channel in a team. You can also use the Post a Message V3 action to post a message to a specific channel in a team. 16th. How can I use Power Automate to create a flow that can handle different languages in the input? You can use the Translator Text connector in Power Automate to translate input text to different languages. You can also use the Language Detection action to detect the language of the input text and perform different actions based on the detected language. 17th. How can I use Power Automate to create a flow that can encrypt data before storing in a SharePoint list? You can use the encryption action in Power Automate to encrypt data before storing it in a SharePoint list. Additionally, you can use the SharePoint connector to store the encrypted data in the specified SharePoint list. 18th. How can I use Power Automate to create a flow that can trigger based on the current time or date? You can use the time trigger in Power Automate to trigger a flow based on the current time. You can also use the date trigger to trigger a flow based on the current date. Additionally, you can use the recurrence trigger to trigger a flow at specific intervals. 19th. How can I use Power Automate to create a flow that can trigger based on the location of the device? You can use the location trigger in Power Automate to trigger a flow based on the location of the device. Additionally, you can use the geofencing action to trigger a flow when the device enters or leaves a specific location. 20th. How can I use Power Automate to create a flow that can trigger based on a specific signal from IoT device? You can use the IoT Central connector in Power Automate. Well, that's it for today's video. We hope you learned something new. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date.